dear citizens of this world, it brings us great sadness to bring this story to the citizens of this world. And all indigenous people. We must still maintain the fight but on these day moving forward. Every water protector needs to be extra vigilant. Because this administration just said. They are for natural resources with no cares of the planet and how it harms her. We must fight with peace. Violence only serves the establishment's agendas. By taking our arms and restricting our rights. We must stand as people united as neighbors. We must make the change with ourselves first. Let's fight but with love and knowledge. Mr. Trump launched his first working week as President of the United States carrying out his plans of dismantling many of Barack Obama's signature policies. Donald Trump will overturn a permit denial that prohibited the construction of the controversial Dakota Access Pipeline, DAPL. That was the focus of months of massive protests by Native American that garnered attention worldwide. Press Secretary Sean Spicer did provide specifics about Mr. Trump's plans regarding continuing construction of the DARPL and the Keystone XL pipeline. But he gave first hints that the new administration would move forward with the project. Such as the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Deal and the Affordable Care Act. Pushing through the Dakota Access Pipeline would further Mr. Trump's promise to work against his predecessor. I'm not going to get in front of the president's executive actions, Mr. Spicer said, but I will tell you that areas like the Dakota and Keystone Pipeline areas that we can increase jobs, increase economic growth, and tap into America's energy supply. That's something that he's been very clear about. He added that Mr. Trump is very very keen in making sure we maximize use of our natural resources to America's benefit. Sincerely yours the sanitation man. We are the truth that's hiding in the dark. We are the last stand for humanity. We are your neighbors. We are humanity. We are a legion. And we are now. Expect us. John Roberts. A uh, couple of things if I could. Later this week in his executive actions, uh, does the president plan to take action to greenlight the Keystone XL and Dakota Access Pipelines? And on TPP, yeah. John McCain says it was a serious mistake to do what the president did for America's economy and for our strategic position in the Asia Pacific. Why was TPP the right thing to do? Why, do, why was it the right why, thing? Why was it the right thing to do to to, re to repeal TPP? Oh, you, I think I said it. I mean, because I think the multilateral when you enter into these multinational agreements, you're allowing any country, no matter the size, any one of those twelve, including us, to basically have the same stature as the United States in the agreement. So we're basically on par with some very small companies who are getting access to an amazing market, the United States, and, and in return, we're negotiating at the lowest common denominator. And I think that when you look at big multinational agreements, multilateral agreements, they're not always in the best interest of the United States. The beautiful thing about bi a bilateral agreement is that if any one of the two parties in the agreement decides at any time uh, they want to get out of the agreement or they're not being treated fairly, they can renegotiate it much easier. In a multinational agreement, that's not the case. In many cases, all of the other countries have to agree to an action or to let somebody out. That's not putting the U.S. interests first. And, and on the question about Keystone and Dakota access. I'm not going to get in front of the President's executive actions, but I will tell you that areas like Dakota and the Keystone Pipeline, areas that we can increase jobs, increase economic growth, and tap into America's energy supply more. Uh, that's something that he has been very clear about. I think he talked about it not only on the campaign, but uh, around the Thanksgiving period. He was talking about that, that being a big priority. That's one of those ones where I think that the energy sector and our natural resources are an area where I think the President is very, very keen on making sure that we maximize our use of natural resources to America's benefit. It's good for economic growth, it's good for jobs, and it's good for American culture.